name I love to hear I love to sing its worth It sounds like music in my ear the sweetest name on earth Oh, how I love Jesus Oh, how I love Jesus Oh, how I love Jesus because he first loved me It tells me of a Savior's love Who died to set me free It tells me of his precious blood The sinner's perfect plea Oh, how I love Jesus Oh, how I love Jesus Oh, how I love Jesus Because He first loved me He tells me what my Father hath In store for every day And though I tread some darksome path He'll sunshine all the way Oh, how I love Jesus Oh, how I love Jesus Oh, how I love Jesus Because He first loved me He tells me of one whose loving heart Can feel my deepest woe Who in its sorrow bears a part None can bear below Oh, how I love Jesus Oh, how I love Jesus Oh, how I love Jesus Because He first loved me Oh, how I love Jesus Oh, how I love Jesus Oh how I love Jesus Because He first loved me Because He first loved me Good morning. Felt like starting that off a little differently this morning. Sunshine. All oh, that. Sun shining in this morning. Beautiful day that the Lord has made. Getting ready to head up to the sub shop here in a few minutes. Looking forward to lifting up the name of the Lord, praising Him, worshiping Him, taking a little time just to have some fellowship with my brothers and sisters in Christ today. I want to share with you Psalm Proverbs, not Psalms. <laughs> just sung a just sung a psalm. Now we're going to share a proverb. Proverb from chapter 9. Proverbs 9, verse number 10. This is some very, very, very familiar scripture. Proverbs 9, 10. The Bible says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. You know, if we love Jesus, He says, If you love me, you'll keep my commandments. And his commandments were, as He told the uh, that uh, Pharisee that day that was trying to trip him up. What was the two most important? What was the most important commandment he asked? And Jesus said, "The f most important commandment is this: love God with all your mind, and all your soul, all your being, everything." In other words, love God with everything that you are, everything that you have, everything that you will be. Love God. He said, "In the second, the second is just as important." is to love your neighbor as yourself. And he said, Upon these two things hinge all the law and all the commandments. In other words, everything that the prophets wrote that they needed to be doing, all the things that, that were written in the laws, in the Hebrew laws, and, and the way to keep each and every one of those commandments was to love God with all that you are, all that you have, and all that you will ever be, to love God more than anything else in this world, 
and to love your neighbor as yourself. We've been seeing people out here in the last few weeks loving their neighbor and going above and beyond to show that love to their neighbor. We've had people come from all around to love their neighbor. And part of loving is not only giving that love, but receiving that love. And there's been a lot of people here that's received that love, that Christ-like love, that love that's been given, expecting nothing in return. That love that reflects the fear of the Lord and the knowledge of what is holy. You want to live a holy life, you've got to love your neighbor as you love yourself, and you've got to love God with everything that you are. You want to reverence the Lord, you want to let Him know that you respect Him and you love Him and you care about Him, you're going to keep His commandments. And by keeping His commandments, all you got to do is to, to love God and love your neighbor. That'll keep them all. You, if you can keep those two, you've kept them all. So that if you're working on those two things, when temptation comes, oh, you ain't going to want to break his heart. That's what the fear is. The fear, the fear that we have is not that he's going to strike us dead, but we would break his heart. We don't want to break his heart. We don't want to break his heart. That's the fear we have. That's the fear of the Lord. We don't want to break his heart. That's why we love him. That's why we love our neighbor. That's why we do what we do. That's why these good works that we do are not for us, but to glorify him. To show all. (laughs) To show, to reflect that light. That light that's shining on me right now, that's the sun. But the sun, S-O-N, is the light that reflects from inside of me. And that's what it's about. That's what it's about. That's the knowledge of the holy that gives us the understanding. That allows us to, to love unconditionally. Because if we didn't know that unconditional love, we couldn't give that unconditional love. And we know love because he first loved us. I had no idea when I sat down here why the Lord put, oh, how I love Jesus in this scripture, both on my heart, but he just revealed it to me. In in the last eight minutes, I've just learned what, I just learned something myself. Don't you love how the Holy Spirit works? Don't you love how the Holy Spirit works? That's why we've got to trust him. That's why we got to do what we do. Go out and love. Show the love this show love this day. Show your understanding of what's holy by loving your neighbor. Short and sweet to the point this morning. I know these videos have been getting kind of short here lately, but it's I found that that's the quickest way to get them to to upload and and it's not going to be long. We got one week. If all goes well, and Facebook getting lying to us. Next Thursday morning, we should be able to go live. So, with that being said, come on out to Backstreet Subs today from noon to 2. Have lunch. Have fellowship. Let's praise the Lord together. Let's show that. Com- let's, let's show the community, the folks coming and going at lunchtime. Let's come on in and help us show some love. Love of God, love of neighbor, and some praise and worship together. Just fellowship, good time in the Lord. Where else can you go on a Thursday afternoon, have lunch and fellowship together, except in downtown West Jefferson, Back Street, right there, Back Street Subs, 209 Back Street, come on out. I mean, it's every Thursday we lift up the Lord from noon till 2. So come on out and join us. And then tomorrow evening from 6.30 until usually around 8. We usually break up about 8 o'clock, but it starts at 6.30. We have a little Bible study. We come together. We break the bread of life, and we we encourage one another, and we, we learn from one another. And uh, you're welcome to come and join us in that, too. The, the sandwich shop, the sub shop's closed 
for business, but open for the Lord's work at 6.30 on Friday evenings. So everybody's welcome. Everybody's welcome. So I think that's all I've got for us this morning. Hope everybody has a great day. I love every one of you, and so I'm looking forward to coming back live again here in, in seven more days. Seven more days is all we got to do these, so come on. <laughs> love you guys. God bless. Have a great day.